just to recap, it's not very pleasant. Right, so you join us back in sunny Rothbury. It's pretty miserable yesterday. And uh, I'm actually flying to New Zealand tomorrow, so I should be doing something sensible like packing up my clothes or packing up the house or tying up all those various loose ends. Instead, I'm here because it's a lovely day. I'm actually here with my colleague Jenny in the background who you've seen in some other videos. She's got those lovely warble sheep and actually a few months ago, she spent her spare pocket money on these lovely two heifers here. Lovely two Herefords. Where do they come from, Jenny? Uh, Welburn Hereford in Yorkshire. Welburn? Yeah. Welburn Herefords in Yorkshire. So they're Yorkshire girls like Jenny. And if any of you guys work with Herefords or have worked with them, with a few exceptions, very few exceptions, they are really lovely, quiet cattle. And uh, as you can see, Jenny finds herself in the position, like a lot of people with sheep, where they end up with heaps and heaps and heaps of grass uh, that just gets away on them in the, in the summer. So she's uh, splashed out on these Herefords to try and capitalize that on, I guess. And I guess it's a little project. We always like a project. Hobby. Hobby. <laughs> a hobby that hopefully won't be a, uh, uh, an absolute money pit like a horse. Well, that <laughs> hopefully maybe they'll, they'll make some money for me. So I'll stop there, because Jenny's just going to explain to us what we're doing today, because I thought you guys would find this quite interesting. Right. Perfect. So, Jenny. You're saying this wasn't going to be a money pit like a horse. <laughs> yeah, right, okay, no, so what, what are these? So these are, uh, the company's called No Fence. They were designed mm -hmm. in Norway and they're a virtual electric fence. Mm -hmm. So the idea is that you can use the app and you can draw a boundary around a field. Yeah. And when the uh, cow hits that boundary, it gets a little noise. Um, and that was that. Let's see if I can get it to play. And it plays a little noise and uh -huh. warns them. Yeah. And then if they if they don't heed the noise, Hi there. Uh, if they don't heed the noise, then they get a little electric shock. Little zap. Little zap, similar like, to what you'd get in on electric fence, basically. Right. Okay. Um, through the through the uh, chains. And so the idea is you put the collars on um, and um, it saves you uh, a lot in, in fencing. Fencing, yeah. Setting up a if you strip, I think the, the beauty of this would be strip grazing. So yeah. there's a guy in Scotland that's using them with, uh, he's basically, you, uh, he's got an open common land hill. Yeah. And he's using that, that's his winter keep and his winter grazing. And he's using these on all his cows. He's got a hundred sucklers out wintered with calves at foot. And he's, he's every few days he's, he's moving his fence moving essentially along. but moving in a virtual fence and moving them along so that's his winter's yeah. keep and the other good thing is you can creep um, graze you can yeah. creep feed your calves because you don't you just put kind of collars on cows you don't put collars on calves yeah. and so the cows the cows won't go far away from the cows but they'll be always ahead so they'll always be getting the best grass ahead if you're yeah. moving them every three or four days and if you've got some big wet boggy areas with mm -hmm. some important moths or something on you can actually put a boundary around that on your app Amazing. Make sure they don't go storming through and crush all the caterpillars. Yeah, yeah you're essentially putting an electric yeah. fence around the, around it. I think the, I think that was on this farming life, wasn't it? I, I think one. Know, the, I think one of the guys off this farming life with stabilizers up in the Highlands was using that. Um, but well, you're, the, are you using it for that reason, Jenny? Are you using that because you don't trust your fences? Uh, I'm using it because I don't trust some fences. So and where I've did got, you get these from? Uh, so these are from No Fence. They are straight from No Fence. Okay. Yeah, they are straight from No Fence. Um, and um, so there's a battery in them, yeah. uh, which is recharged on the uh, on a little uh Sun, uh, oh, solar, solar. so it's solar charge but mm -hmm. it, it, in the summer it, you should just about manage with solar charging yeah. and then in the winter you'd probably need to you have a spare battery with them yeah. so you have a spare battery that you'd be able to change, up change. And, and put up so the the cow ones are 300 quid yeah. uh, I bought these these were actually been used for a couple of months so I got a discount off these nice. they've been like used a in a trial and like a the sheep ones are 150 so you get them for sheep? Uh, no I'm going for sheep you can oh, you get, can get sheep. them for sheep yeah. and goats to, I think with Norway oh, because they were uh, grazing woodland areas which are hard to fence yeah. they were actually originally designed for for goats browsing through woodlands and sheep grows so yeah. completely different farming uh, setup to what we've got yeah. basically but i think i think you're right on the, the the big things would be like on the hill grazing where in this country we can't we can't go away and a it'd be a huge expense but also for various environmental yeah, really aesthetic reasons you can't go along and just and fence all that up 
that would make it much better in terms of utilising the, the grass and the yeah. forage better, be better for yeah. the ground. And fencing them off bits that you don't want them in if you're exactly. fencing them out of woods and stuff like that. So this that. might be the way forward. I, I, I suppose it all comes down to price point, doesn't it, really? You know, that's yeah, uh, and so, functionality. So Do you need phone signal for them? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you, they work off it, they have their own little phone signal in and it works on the app. Yeah. Um, now what I haven't, t so the, if, you've got, if you've got hundreds of acres all in a block, the, the fence, if you like, the virtual fence is more like a, a, a zone. Yeah. So what I haven't tested is using it in these little small paddocks like this, how, how accurate we can yeah. get that zone. So it's probably going to need a bit of a, um, a, a bit of tweaking in terms of where that fence goes and, and, and how it goes. So, um, so yeah, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a trial for, for me, but I like that. if you put sort of fencing at seven, cost of fencing at seven pounds a meter, uh -huh. and when you're all on sort of rented bits and bats of, of rented ground here, there and everywhere, that yeah. fencing certainly sort of adds stacks up, up doesn't it? Yeah. Um, and I think in Scotland, you're getting a 50% grant. Of course you do. Love that. And nothing in England as, <laughs> as per usual, but yeah, so there is grants available. So the 50% grant for this available and yeah. a few guys that are looking at it and we've got a couple of farms that are, are interested yeah. and are looking at them. I think the technology is fantastic and I think if anything we should be using all of this technology within farming and utilising as much as we possibly yeah. can and I mean if you think about this was 300 quid yeah. what's your wintering cost for a cow if you could use these Probably not dissimilar yeah yeah you might on a bad year you might spend that in straw <laughs> so if you're using these systems for outwintering uh, sort of you know strip grazing outwintering and uh, you know 100 paddock system yeah. so you're constantly moving them on uh, and I do, you know I don't know about anyone else but I hate laying out electric fences I, if I had a quad bike and some proper reels and, yeah. and, uh, and everything else but when you're doing it by miles and miles electric fencing by hand because you, you've you know you've been given a field but it's got no fences yeah. um, so the idea of this but for me saves I'm, all that time yeah for and me, sleep I'm, at night as well exactly that's the other thing yeah. isn't it but so for me I'm I am trying to patch up poor fences yeah. on rented land yeah so I am doing it a bit differently and it is a bit of an experiment um, yeah. and I've only got two cows you know I think I might regret it when if I get ten cows <laughs> it'll stock we'll up we'll see but. we'll see but the only thing is um, Jenny unfortunately is one of those nightmare clients who <laughs> buy it, think oh I'll get a couple of heifers it'd be lovely no <laughs> yeah, no facilities work. no crush yeah. no race yeah. just oh we'll go and we'll just catch them in the corner of a pen behind the gate so this is our child I mean they are yeah. wonderfully touch wood wonderfully quiet it's taking two months but yeah. I've yeah I've got them so they will follow a bucket of feed and they will be stroked so, so I'm the hoping plan they're going to behave they're going to behave now while they're having their feed yeah I'm going to put the the, the, the collars on. on well I don't know if I'm yeah. best just standing off I don't know whether yeah that's fine I'll, yeah, just, yeah. I'll just stand off and so the only thing is so I've named the two collars I'm going to put the right collar because it's all on all the, right okay. it's all on app system right. we'll show you the app then um you might have to we might have to do it under the shade can you pick that up or not no not really yeah we'll do we'll it under, do it under the, shade. the shade uh let me just um so daisy is ending what in are the names jenny doris and daisy doris and daisy that's not their official pedigree no. names that their pet names but doris and daisy uh 8337 is doris right cool right i'm going right, to feed so them i'm going to stand off maybe um, i don't know you just tell me what you want me to do jenny right then ladies let's get you some snacks they don't seem phased by the dog at all either. Say it again? They don't seem phased by the dog no, at all. No, no, it's there they were sort of uh, less bothered about um, the dog than me to start with. Oh, come on. Come on for the snacks. Come on for the snacks. There we go. That, was that Doris? So that's Daisy. That that's Daisy's Daisy. the easier one. Doris isn't as quiet. Oh. Come on, Daisy. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
Come on. Come on. Come on. Come for snacksies. Come for snacksies. Yeah. I nearly Naughty had it going to the dog Naughty flying back. Girl. Never mind, we'll just go we'll keep working on it. I'll leave the one. I've got one on Dor on Daisy. Oh, you might. Yeah. I think you might have had it there if it hadn't been for the naughty Purdy. Nah, I'll uh, I'll keep working. Not on put it. her off, but that's one on anyway, but so yeah. we can see how that works anyway. Yeah, exactly. So the app will tell you. So if you uh, if they haven't moved for sort of four hours, yeah. you get a um, uh, you get an alert to say that they haven't moved. Okay. Um, and then you get an alert, alert like I, I tested them outside work the other week. Yeah. Totally forgot to move them out of the pasture. I chucked them in my truck and went to a call. And then initially you get the it was just sat on my front seat. Yeah. Initially you had the dilly -li 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 -li, and then and then I kept obviously kept driving and then you could hear it going bzz, bzz, as it gave the the zap. Kind of shock them, yeah. And and then yeah. I had a message through on the app saying, Daisy has escaped. Doris <laughs> has escaped. All right, she's <laughs> going up the 697. Yeah, 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 as I pulled out of uh, Rothbury. So. Well, that, that looks quite not snug, well, snug enough, doesn't it? Yeah, so it has to be um, slack enough to, to, to in loose, so it's just sitting loosely. Mm. So it's not, but then it wants to be not too tight so that it's, um, uh, it, it don't be too loose so it's sort of hitting them in the chin. Yeah. So um, I don't know, it's a bit of an experiment. And then, uh, I have no idea how bad it is, mine. Well, I find I, I feel like I should for the interest of science. I've so I thought, in the interest of animal welfare, I should put my body on the line just to show you, and just to be confident for myself that it's no worse than an electric fence. And I'm a real wuss. I don't like electric fences, but. It's only a little zap. So if I move this way, Jenny, yep, I was should it? Yep, you've and it's this bit. And you're I've escaped. The path, so, that, so you hear that? Hear that? It's telling me, it's warning me. It's warning me. It's warning me. I'm not moving. I'm, I've come back. I've come back. It's really warning me now. It's really warning me. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, but, <laughs> so it's a zap, but it's uh, it's no worse than an electric fence, and it's telling her. Do you need I see she moved away in yeah. time there. Yeah, so she's learned quickly, hasn't she? She has. Just to recap, it's not very pleasant, but I would quickly learn not to... Uh, but the idea is you're not going to zap, they get an odd, uh, odd zap. zap to learn that that noise. It's like, yeah. I think she's had one zap yeah. and she moved away. So I think possibly she's had one zap and she's learned that that noise is a bad noise. Well, exactly. And I'll walk away. So it's, it's a deterrent, not a punishment. I think that's the key thing. Uh, and if I could put up with it, these girls are a lot tougher than I am. And I'm sure they'll be absolutely fine. Can so this is the app. Right, right, uh, go for it. Yeah, so that's the app. So this is the app, and so this is the uh, boundary I've made with the pasture. Yeah. And you can see that both Doris and Daisy are down there in the bottom. What's the red? Don't know. <laughs> Don't know. But, uh, Maybe the last few pin, uh, po uh, pinch points, like, yeah. like points on the thing. So you can see that they're both just in this bottom corner. Yeah. And then, so with the two collars, you get um, you get who she is, where yeah. she is, um, and then sort of how many warnings. So she's had one warning today, which okay. is the one we did for testing. Battery status is 67%, but that's okay. fine enough because they were sat in my truck. Yeah. And I've got a spare battery to swap everybody around, and it all runs off, uh, off Bluetooth. And then same with Daisy. Daisy's just sat in this bottom yeah. corner. Um, so she's the one with the actual collar on at the so moment. Yeah, she, yeah, she's the one with the actual collar on. The other collar's just hung on the gate. So she's um, in there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, just cool. moving along. 
So um, again, most recent report, so it'll, it'll tell you how often it's updating mm. your, your app and everything, and then how many warnings she's had and how many beeps she's had, uh, so how many zaps with the yeah. electric pulses. And then, um, like I said, my problem would be for using them for my system is yeah. how accurate these these yeah um, in quite small fields and yeah quite small fields so i've just pressed it so that uh it, it asked it asked it to to sing oh. so you see here hopefully we can hear it on the mic but if you can't that's Daisy's collar playing. Is that if you get? Is that, is that if you lose them in the dark? I presume so. I presume, <laughs> yeah. Well, either lose them in the dark or if it's if it's sheep in woodland. You know, again, yeah. designed in Norway. Yeah. Designed for grazing, extensive sheep and goat grazing. So I think if you've lost your goat in the in the in the woodland. And then these are all my fields that I've put in. Right. So I've got lot of, lots of little kind of um, just bits of ground. Mm. And so I've literally sort of set on, and it's fantastic with Google Maps. Um, that's all, you know, if you, so pastures, mm -hmm. let's say a new pasture, and you just get all of Rothbury, and you say, right, where's my little pasture? Uh, and off you go. I mean, it's a fantastic bit of and kit. Do you pay for the app, presumably? Yeah, so 80 quid a year yeah. for, per collar for the um for the app yeah so it does so i my total bill was 815 plus fat yeah uh, sorry including vat yeah um 815 including vat i had a discount on the collars because they were used in a pre-used in a trial and that's a spare battery plus the two apps for the year so yeah. um we'll, we'll see, see how it goes yeah we'll see it. i think if nothing else i kind of uh, it's a very expensive experiment but if nothing else i really wanted to uh, you know just just you know we should be using all this technology you know yeah. it's just and like i say i'm using it totally the wrong way to everyone else in terms of i'm using it to prop up some rubbish fencing basically <laughs> well. um but like per perfect example would be here i mean all of this lot I, I took some more ground on this summer and then got the cows and all of this ground has been sort of um the the, the posh the posh word would be rested but yeah. really it's just been abandoned for, <laughs> for so this Seen all of this rewilded yeah, yeah all of this over overgrowth that the cows are now like the sheep no way would the sheep be able to sort of break into this lot so yeah. the cattle are going to come on onto it for a couple of weeks and then um Bo's going to come and top it for us <laughs> and then this is my this is going to be on my winter grazing Aye. but you can see you probably can't see it but we'll midway, get on the drone, up, eh? yeah. midway up that far we'll go and have a look with the drone midway up that far field is some lovely clover and the first thing they did when i took them in that night was check all the trees out yeah. try all the trees and then look go oh look there's clover <laughs> <laughs> they were just that's where they were about halfway up that field so so but i think you're right i think like from a veterinary point of view it's it's good because people ask us about this we've had people asking yeah. us about this collars and we sort of go yeah uh, uh, seeing them sounds like a good idea yeah but you don't know until you get your hands on yeah, the on the gear and you try and use them and yeah. and what have you it's uh you don't know so it's, it's a good excuse yeah spend a yeah. bit of money it's still cheap i don't know how much a saddle costs but a saddle's got to be oh, if you're into horses like yeah. this is just pocket change isn't it yeah yeah i uh I, yeah i haven't come anywhere near two cows some gates i have ordered yeah. some gates they're on back order with richie thank yeah. you very much richie when they arrive <laughs> i have ordered some gates and i've had to order some uh, so i've ordered some five foot yeah. cattle hurdles because i literally on when you're working on your own and you're working yeah. on your own with cows you, you can't lift can't i can't lift heave those foot. massive ones they're yeah. so big no. so, uh, so we'll have to see how they obviously i'm meant to be flying out tomorrow <laughs> uh, but we'll get a report back from jenny about how they're working or not working but i think they're going to make the biggest difference when they uh, I get into the bigger fields yeah and then hopefully I can for the bigger fields I'll be able to use them for the strip yeah. grazing yeah. and I've got a big field that has a huge sort of two of the borders are uh, river yeah which would be a nightmare to try and fence in terms of getting you know getting my if I put an electric yeah. fence up it gets washed away when the river comes up yeah. so the the, the um, collars are going to be brilliant for that nice one so that's one out of two, it could have been worse. And I'm sure Jenny will manage to get that second collar on Miss Doris before long. Um, yeah, we'll see how they get on. And these guys have actually been AI'd uh, by Jack um, to Hereford, I think he is Australian. Jenny, is the ball they've been AI'd to Australian? Yes, uh, Waruna Matty. So they've been AI'd to Waruna Matty, uh, a 
and Australian Hereford bull. The very early days and cattle can be prone, a bit like humans unfortunately, to losing very early pregnancies. Um, so touch wood, those hold, and they will carve next spring. Again, I'm in New Zealand, but hopefully we'll get some nice photos of some bonny little Hereford calves running around um, doing what bonny little Hereford calves do. Uh, but yeah, this was probably the last vlog I'm filming before we go to New Zealand. It will almost certainly uh, go out when I'm over there, so it might be the last vlog for a little while. Um, I'll keep things going as best as I can, but stay tuned and we'll, uh, we'll find something to show you.